Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the quarterfinals, where we get to see Coastal for the third time. I'm I'm hyped for this game. Avenue versus Wapanda. Are you ready for this, Pento? Are you Coastal. ready? I am ready. Actually, you know what? I am ready to go. It's it's Coastal for the third time time and i'm so excited you can see with the tone of my voice i'm super excited to see coastal here again in battalion 1944 oh, I'm, excited. I'm excited coastal is just the best map in battalion right now with such a great smg meta where you can play five thompsons and run around the map and get loads of kills but this time no thompson in the first round and shotguns on two of the rapanda players and only one on avenue since they bought two smokes which i'm looking forward to when they place those smokes Clearly, but the uh, at the moment, no trench gun from what? Well, uh, actually, yeah, two trench guns. So they're gonna they're gonna do this the strat again, a one B and one A. So this is actually really nice. Obviously, the last two remaining players are the trench gun players. So obviously, Strove's gonna be forced to push towards a B. Meanwhile, it gets a frag. Still, just three more players to uh, go. Strove barely making it alive as he is absolutely one shot getting that regen back here 30 seconds guys so a lot to work with obviously they're going to create that distance to avoid those trench guns here exactly and i do like how they're doing this i'm playing the buddy system up on stairs and then you have the one player now we rotating back to just try and find a flank just making sure the focus is towards the stair players but Strove is Trying to push back with the shotgun, but he will fall from Adamello. Just leaving Dins. Nine seconds. No time to defuse, but he will get two frags. Looking for the third, maybe. And it, she does get, but no time to defuse. So Avenue will win the first round due to explosion. But Dins, he's going to get a lot of tokens after that round. Now, talking about Avenue... I believe we did we did see Avenue. Uh, they lost and derailed. Uh, remind me, what team was it? Um, we did hey. see them last week, I believe it was, and uh, we uh, they did failed on they lost on uh, derailed. I think it was believe. against Wapanda. Was it against Wapanda? I think so. Yeah. What? Well, let's go ahead and assume that it was uh, against Wapanda. So redemption, if anything, for this squad. As right now they have. A strong start here. Niels again playing really nicely with that MP40. And he's actually been a threat with that gun. We saw how uh, one of the last few rounds was really important. He actually managed to get like a 4K on that round. But Jack is just not having any of it at the moment. Gets a shot there. Misses. Excuse me. Couldn't capitalize on the frag. Now, slowly looks as going to be an A push here. Robert takes a shot of Jacket, so that's one. Uh, he can actually pick the gun. Didn't, that's nice take down Lowey, but Louis somehow managed to get to bottom A, and this looks a lot better from a panda. And they slowly getting controlled. Dins trying his best, but CD taking him out, but so does Looney. Falls to the hands of Robert as CD is the only one. Or the player remaining with 30 seconds left on the clock. He is trying to get towards that B side as fast as he can, but there is a player which is in a good position to try and cut him off, which doesn't manage to slow him down. See that Strove's in a good position, but CD catches him off guard. As Strove expected him to be on the site already, and the plant will finally come in. 10 seconds left. So enough time. Question is, who will come out on top? Will it be CDE or will it be Wapanda and Blues of the headshot? Seals of Fate making it 1 1. Good answer back from Wapanda. But I mean, a little bit tight there. You could either you could either oh, use a bar or obviously what he did, obviously stay behind, make them come to you and not able to use a trench gun. But again, obviously, did see somebody, but too far, but much of a uh, more of an uncomfortable angle for him. Gets taken down. So Wapanda again, excuse me, Wapanda again, really nice round for them. And it looks like they're still going to be doing the same thing. Take a look at Strove. Strove again yeah. with the trench. And I'm pretty 100% sure he will be going towards A. Which is probably expected from at this point. Mm -hmm. Especially if Amity managed to catch some of the last moments of the last game, which they did have time for. 
see what they can Benchmark. Do. They lost to Benchmark, yes. by the way, on the real. Oh, that was bench. a quick car. Yeah. Still, we did see Avenue. That's that was the point of the conversation. With I did see uh, Avenue Esports uh, play, but unfortunately they lost on the rail. But that was in, and this is now as Niels again playing up, doing a fantastic job with that SMG, being a really good fragger there at the moment. Louis and Looney are in a good position to try and mm. call off any pushes towards that B side. And the thing is, he's got a good crossfire set with his teammates, which is Strove. I mean, Robert and Blues, but Blues already falls. Nils trying his best, taking down one player, falling back, allowing Din to take some pot shots as Nils finishes him off, leaving CD again, the last player remaining. Tall order for him as Nils finishes him off securing the second round and four kills for him in this one what again I remembered, uh mm -hmm. avenue lost two in the last blitz creed cup which was entropy in the round of 32 so very early on in the last time yeah very early, very early on uh right you are good sir so at the moment right now and take a look at the uh this is kind of interesting though uh obviously uh, avenue i like what avenue is doing usually even with those two tokens you can see people will go for a trench gun but they actually want to save uh, enough tokens here meanwhile neil's got a trench gun strofe as well so this is gonna be uh do you think it's worth doing that i mean at the moment you see you did see that rather than buy constant trench gun they actually stayed with default except Automelo and CD with uh, carbines here. So, if anything, a very team-oriented decision. Uh, usually, some of the times you see a lot of people just, well, I have two tokens, let me go with the trench gun, screw it. But actually, I, I like that. Uh, hopefully, for the next round, they are able to come back with at least decent guns and a decent amount of utilities. It's, again, we all know how utilities are really uh, crucial in a game like Battalion. Meanwhile, Automelo will be the last player remaining only has one smoke, 40 seconds. So at this point, not a lot that you can do. But yeah, like answering your question, which you asked me, uh, I, I do like this play, which I'm mean, doing, just getting two tokens, because um, it does give you more opportunities in the long term. I'm um, obviously short term, you're going to have a little effect. They only managed to secure one kill, which is an extra token for them. But now they got like six tokens each. You can get all the utility, you can get Thompson as well. So you still have good weaponry. You could even have one player on the scope. So it, does create more versatility and makes your game a little bit more stable and makes you have a better buy but it's still a risk in this um early stages in the game since everyone does buy anyway but i mean if you take a look at the uh it is a risk but a risk that you actually have to take at this point but it's good because obviously it gave him enough time to not only get a gun but also utilities so somewhat creating a balance there for them on this round the question is can they capitalize but and Gins is definitely not caring at all whatsoever. A great double kill for this round. So you can pretty much say this could be, this could set the tone for this round. Blues with an amazing a double kill. Louis is the last player remaining, but a lot to go around as the half three players from Wapanda alive. And now this is good, but still look at the, the amount of, look at the economy. They can still actually rebuy um, a guns but at a higher cost as right now avenue only has one one uh one round uh one versus wapanda four rounds so looking uh even though i understand the move it was like you said a high risk definitely didn't pay off but hopefully they can rectify that mistake with this current buy of the guns yeah, and um, you have to give credit where we found it did. Then, like, Den's getting those two opening kills through the smoke. Fantastic that he managed to do that, but it was after that when they stopped pushing on the site. The way that he played with Blues was just so perfect. Den's banging in the shots and Blues peeking in, getting that double kill at the end. So, good teamwork there. But Animal getting that opening kill. This is what you want from Avenue, just getting an opening kill, sending that one player off to cause some damage, which could cause rotations. Blues misses his shot, and you can see the rotating players from Avenue trying to get back towards that B side, and so you know they have an advantage towards that side. But Blues actually gets an info though with the car 98 and misses a shot, trying to get a frag. I believe that is going to be a smoke there, so very nice smoke. 
try to cover blue. Meanwhile, nothing but a straight shot here for blue if they peek towards bottom yellow. But you can see how they're trying to create a distance from uh, blue. As they already know, they have the uh, he has a card that EA gets a shot on Louis. Louis gets taken down. Strove in blue with the last two players remaining. This is looking a little bit difficult for them. Bomb is actually planted. Meanwhile, there's somebody on top of the stairs. Blue again coming in huge, slowly taking down these uh, players, trying to make the trying to keep the dream alive here. But Looney with a headshot on blue, so that is canceled as CDE follows behind Looney, taking down Strove two to four. So again, a very valuable, uh, valiant effort, excuse me, for Avenue. But unfortunately, will Panda play that really good? on the b-site yeah well a round from them well, well round from heaven you really like they managed to get that opening from Ad adam Mello, who managed to get those two kills towards the b-site and then they pushed onto the site making blues ineffective with the smokes even though he managed to, uh, to do get two kills at the end there it just wasn't enough it's not it is two four but now you do need this round, and Jack is getting an opening kill on Dins. That cause some problems, but we didn't expect Blue's pushing from Yellow. He does expect Robert to peek, but ooh. Robert just stops peeking at the right time. That doesn't seem like you want to go for it. Look at that. Definitely. But right now, I mean, a Blue... Trying to go, trying to, I mean, no, no movement pretty much. Niels is just trying to get information at this point. There's only so much that you can do with a gun with an MP40 on that distance, but nobody is having anything on A. So I think, if anything, that would be a great time for Strove to maybe start the rotation slowly as the remaining four players from Wapanda are strictly going for that B. So as the frag gets taken down, so Blue and Rubber actually play that really good. Only one player on red, which is weird. That's CDE. So pretty much the same intentions. From Strove trying to rotate, but however, after that frag, you can clearly see now they want to rotate towards B. Strove patiently waiting. You can clearly see Strove had the intention of also rotating, but as soon as CD starts sh started to shoot, he stepped back. So Strove with a nice opening. Oh, this is oh my god, he actually gets a hit marker, but managed to get away with it with a nice a double kill. Jackus is the last player remaining for Avenue Kai. Ten seconds remaining. Not looking good. Yeah, at this moment, you might as well just say, well, Thompson and Carl to play with, and having some tokens there, four tokens, he can give those away even getting some utility, and he's getting another token as well. He just wants to keep these weapons, but Wapanda does not want to let him, and that was a good call from them. Making him have to buy instead of gifting those tokens to his teammates, and could possibly see a save. They probably will try and buy around this, though, as the 2-5 lead is growing. But great move from Strove, and really, if CDE didn't shoot that much, Strove could have got caught off of, off guard there if he uh, went for the rotation. Right. But right now is uh, looking like a A push here from Avenue. If anything, very confident on this push, as you can clearly see CDE leading the charge. Looney with a nice wall bank, so it seemed, on Niels. Now, talk about bad timing. I don't know if you're watching CDE or Strove, but definitely a bad timing on CDE. The moment he turned around, Strove literally pushed outside, got the better of it. But meanwhile, there's only so much that they can do. They have to throw smoke there, trying to avoid any gunfights, as you can see. I believe who was that that was uh, retreating? Was, I believe. Um, yep. He was in a bad position. Yeah. Uh, on newsstand where... He was stuck uh, behind it when two players was watching his position. So the smoke oh. letting him escape, but didn't. Getting that headshot onto Looney in top red. Keeping an advantage for his team by two now. As they are trying to push towards a site. And Strove, of course, is still alive. So once they try and push in, they will lose his life. But Louis is the last player remaining here. So he was started off as a confident push. Pretty much just broke down completely as they literally it looked like they their intention was to go to a and then all of a sudden trying to make that uh b hold but unfortunately weren't able to capitalize on those frag it's strove again being pretty much the a king at this point strove literally doesn't do anything but on a 
you have to you know right now yeah. it's nine rounds i believe it is nine rounds at the moment and you constantly try to when you whenever you try to go to a you constantly see strove there at this point you have to know you have to understand well strove will always be on a so how do i take down strove as a team and clearly they it's just they, it, to me it looks like they keep forgetting that strove constantly goes to a and not only that but he's been doing it since before uh versus lions he's been doing that all the time Robert it was opening things up no school so trying for one that's all that she wrote strove finally pushing out from a b push mid and he had another gang of frag there but it was a quick round in favor for a panda now we got the seventh definitely got the half win question is how much further can they create it the more you get on your axes the better it is for you to go into the second half. And so far we're seeing a very solid axis from a panda. Well, yeah, very so solid. far. The uh, avenue has been struggling a lot. They haven't been getting the economy running the way they want to, and it's just due to the fact that they've been losing the gunfights when they do have the weaponry, and losing the rounds again when they have the weaponry and still trying capitalize some links but cd pushing out all the way into b still some of some fires now will fall, fall to the hands of dins and Looney charming in for one oh jack is actually gets a kill on uh, neil's so right now louis right behind him actually wants to challenge that and strove gets the last word of that gunfight there jump shot uh, excuse me he <laughs> He chases, retreats, and then jumps back and gets the kill. So Louis again, the last player remaining. And this is looking really bad for Avenue 2-8. to eight. Well, Panda doing a great job so far. You gotta give you gotta give credit to a panda at this point. Yeah. Doing a great job holding a B. And not only that, but just so far, it's so hard for Avenue to go to B and go to A. And the thing is, only it's, the majority of the time it's only one player on A, and again. That is none other than Strove, and I'm not sure how they're not able to capitalize on the A-ball. You can also see that with Panda is very, very confident. Like we've seen Strove in that one round just push out of A. We've never seen him push out of A so far in these rounds that we've seen him play on Axis on Coastal. So the fact that he's pushing out shows that he is trying to get confident, but also that he's changing up his play and trying to switch things up because they know that after you will try and adapt like they are now. And they do have the advantage once again, but can they Dude, keep hold of it? Oh. No, they cannot. A strove taking out CDE from back here. Nil score also trying to be in front, holding down red. Question is, will he expect another play, which is Jackis? No, he will not. So now it is a two versus two once again. Well, let's talk about that for a second. That bad timing from CDE. CDE has had like bad, two or three bad times in a row on this map. He goes from the back, Strove literally again coming out. He's also going towards the back of A. Just like that with the trench gun, gets a better of CD. But thankfully, they actually managed to escape one round here. Three days. I believe this is going to be the last round before we see the side switch, yes, right? It will be. So, so at the top, where it says round 12, 8 to 3, of course. Getting four rounds from your allies is the key amount, which I would say. So let's see if I mean, you can do it. They do have the weaponry that one Adam Mello on the scope, a couple of bars and a couple of grands, even on Jackius and MP40 as a backup weapon. And Adam Mello gain an opening kill onto Nilsk. It's gonna cause uh, the advantage, and hopefully, they can keep it going into this round to get this last round. It is hot here, Jesus, but right now, <laughs> my God, this Feels is like actually, it's getting hot, so. <laughs> dude, it is pretty hot. For those of you know, here in Germany, it's about 94, 95 degrees at the moment. So it is, Fahrenheit. Whew, just, just go it, it's Fahrenheit, obviously, so just let me correct myself, it's Fahrenheit. So it's actually pretty, pretty hot right now. <sighs> right now, Jack is lonely and CD are the last players again. And again, take a look at CDE again, trying to not he doesn't have a bomb to be clear but cde trying 
to do something on A slowly. And again, CDE will get punished for it. Barely making it alive. So they have info. You, you can see CDE just trying to get desperate right now. I mean, nice CDE just looks... to half HP, though. So he does answer some bank, making sure a little bit more wary to peek again. But <laughs> he gets Robert is insane. Now it's up to CDE again in a one versus three. His chances looking pretty dim. You got to get credit to him. Obviously, he really wants to make the effort on A, but it's just, it's too much at this point. Take a look, Strofe again. There is literally no way of stopping Strofe on A. No. Now we get to see Avenue's defense. Let's see if it upholds to what Pandas. Because at this point, they have to have a very strong defense to hold Panda back after the fact that Panda are only four rounds away from winning it. Of course, uh, Avenue needs 10, so big margin. And right now, look, take a look. They're going for the trench gun here. It's somewhat of a double trench gun. Hopefully, they play this right. Adamillo is on A, and CD is on B. So again, keeping those trench guns separate to try to avoid losing them. Adamello controlling A with a nice double kill. Louis right behind Adamello. So it's a very solid start. Hopefully, this could be the beginning of a comeback here, as we all know how strong the defensive side is for certain maps, specifically a map like uh, Coastal, in my opinion. Obviously, a great map for for uh, for defense. So hopefully they can. This can be the beginning of a comeback here. And what I saw is keeping all five players alive. That's gonna increase your economy since you don't have to rebuy into this round. But you're gonna buy anyway since most of your players only have MP28s as their primary. But they opt to not really buy anything. Not only Looney Gang and STG. See, Valmy and Jack is still on MP28s, but they do have a shotgun in their back pocket. So that's something at least. Panda charging towards that B side. A lot of tags from Looney, but no frags just yet. Jack is in a good position to capitalize. He does manage to get one frag. City, he also chiming in for another. As this B push looking as dire as the A push did in the first round. Oh, Dins. <sighs> Able I'm to back. get a second kill. And uh, CD does finish things off, and uh, great round from Avenue once again, keeping three players alive this time instead of five, but it's still a really good round. Controlling that B side so well and just playing around the smokes. Mm -hmm. Just well, I mean, uh, we, we talked. Uh, that's that's what I said. I mean, hopefully, hopefully the defensive round is, is the opportunity for Avenue to catch up. I uh, do have to get credit to Reese in the chat saying just grab a beer and it'll sort out <laughs> sort it out Reese, i feel you man a beer coming up later on so tonight cool. <laughs> beer solves all i agree with you shout out to Reese in the chat there buddy thank you for that louis and looney meanwhile pulling a double kill there again blue and dins are the last uh go down robert obviously taking down looney so again this is the defensive this is what you need to see from avenue avenue definitely will be taking advantage off the defensive side, if they play their cards right here. Oh, but what? Excuse me. Was that a wall bang? Um, yeah, wall bang headshot. That was Enough a big yank. in the angle. Able to get that frag, and it does open up the A site. Question is, can they keep hold of it? Is it two versus two? We're staying towards the back A, just watching oh, in case any players push. And Jackis is in a good position to try and take the no scout, but. Nilsk just playing around the market just right. Finally peeks and actually gets that frag, just leaving CDE alone with a shotgun. And since it is blind towards A, it is the best weapon to have in this scenario. Just like Nils shows, he managed to get four kills in that round to get them onto the 10th round on the board. Gotta talk about that A, A push. I mean, you can see how easily Wapanda can actually go for A and Avenue can't respond back with the defensive uh support on a they have to they really have to do something here and now you have to defensive round this is your opportunity to actually come back you can actually do this right now you just you have to avoid you have to avoid making those the mistakes names. 
My God. But they did manage to try him for one more, taking him down. Blues, who was the thrower of said need. So still even the same thing. In fact, that Adamella got a tag through the smoke. That's going to tell that it's going to be a B push. Looney also getting one more frag, keeping the advantage to his team, leaving Nilsk and Dins try and get back into this round, which I believe Nils' position is known. Oh, my goodness. Dins. What a double kill. <laughs> what a double kill there. This is such a great, you know, he's such a great guy, honestly. What a, what a great guy. Play a double like kill a there. Bad. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a panda. What can I say? I don't know. I'll take it down, Dan. So, again, six to seven, slowly making that approach towards panda, trying to survive, trying to keep it alive. Can they do it? That is the question. Can they do it? I don't want to see a TV show, but I don't know what it is because it was from my childhood. But my childhood set aside 10-6 to a panda as we go into the 17th round. It does seem like uh, the panda wants to go for spread. You do have, I believe that is, blues pushing towards a side. We saw them do against Alliance. The question is, can he cause as much hangium against this enemy line? This enemy line is so rich, man. You see them rotate back after they get some contact if they can't get the frag. And just but, keeping map control as much as possible. I don't think that. Take a look at Louie, though, being very patient. So, obviously, this is somewhat of the same setup, Kai, that. Uh... That what panda had on a so it's only a matter of you you have to capitalize on holding it down that's all you got to do blue crawling there like a snake slowly trying to see something here not pushing at all nobody making a sound here. smokes are coming in on b street blue louis jack is all getting hit at the same time Niels, meanwhile, trying to do something here. He actually manages to get a kill. Bomb was going to be planted. Can he land the grenade? And he jack is gets the grenade on Robert. Excellent grenade there. But the bomb has to be planted regardless. He has, he's actually going for it. And that is none other than in Niels himself. I mean, Ottoman has a scope, so he can actually work with a long range. Jack is taking down Niels. Uh, if anything, Niels got a little bit desperate there. Could have waited a little bit more for them to approach. And just like that, oh, seven to a ten. So this is looking really good for Avenue. Just a few more rounds away from tying it out again. Do it, taking that defensive rounds to your advantage is always a must. You have to win this round. Exactly. But a good retake, nonetheless. And I thought Blues could do a little bit more damage um, as a lurking player. Only getting one kill. A little bit unfortunate. You can't take anything away from Avenue, and the fact that Avenue won that round allowed him to get full utility into this one. We're seeing four SMGs, and he strove losing it. Oh, but did Adam just get attacked there through the smoke? A little bit unlucky not to get a frag, but he oh. does manage to take down Nisk. Nils, sorry. So fast on the flick. That was a good shot. I saw that. Great shot by Adam Ellis. Such confident there watching that A with the Springfield. However, there is somebody in middle though. I uh, can't see who it is, but Dan's at the moment trying to go for that. What it looks like B behind the smoke. And if anything, nobody on side, Kai. If, I could be wrong, but there's nobody on side of B. Let me go ahead and take a look for a second here. Nope, nobody on B right now. It's CDE. Dan gets a better of Looney. Looney was on B and L, and our CD is in yellow. Four versus four. And Robert gained that kill towards Broken One. This is going to start opening things towards the A side, but Adam Mello is still here with the sniper and Thompson combo. No shotgun, which is the one which you want, but Blues jumping on top, gaining that frag, just leaving CDE alone in a one versus four scenario, only with a trench gun to play with. Not much you can do here. So close yet so far, Kai. CD is the last player remaining. Crowning in middle with a trench gun. Not exactly the best idea to go around, especially with a trench gun. But at this point, there's only so much that you can do. And right now, the panda's sitting uh, really good with the, the, uh, with the economy, obviously. 
No need to expend. No need to spend. Obviously, well set up. Enough utilities. Meanwhile, Louis is the only player with a smoke here. CD now has a smoke and a trench. So hopefully, you know, trench prayers. Trench yeah, three. Oh, excuse me, three trench guns, but two smokes. So hopefully, prayers to Avenue. Hopefully, they can pull something uh, crazy here. And actually, that nade landed really perfect, uh, perfectly. But unfortunately, didn't kill whoever that was uh, behind. Uh, what it looks like it was a Robert. Actually, if anything, right now they're trying to play that really aggressively through Broken Wall as Robert gets a nice double kill. Louis takes down Neil Sokai. I mean, at this point, they're trying to control middle when it looks like they want to go for A. B push, it seems like, as the bomb is now on the B site. Only player in the position is Looney in yellow. With the shotgun, can't hit any of the mark, and he's actually been pushed back to top yellow. As the bomb will go down. It's in a good position for the Allies as they... Fire it 4L, where the majority of the players are on that side. But the bomb no. is already planted. And Adam L is the last player remaining here. So, ladies and gentlemen, this could be, this is going to be match point after this. 100% sure. Uh, this is going to go towards Wapanda this round specifically, what I mean. 20 seconds remaining on the clock. Adam L only has a trench gun. So, so much that he can do. Obviously, you can clearly see at this point, safe or. Save or, or be killed at this point. Oh, he does manage to take down one player. And that's Dins trying to escape, but Blues will shut him down as the Panda, like you said, match point. Just one round to advance to the semi finals where they will meet someone. <laughs> 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 they will meet someone. It's you don't like say. Um, it's oh, it's going to be entropy, good. actually. There you go. Oh, I want to see that. I am yeah, excited. Just like, uh, we got told from Bear, because obviously you, can, you guys can't hear him. It's going to be endpoint versus drip after this game, but it has to be after this game. Because there are still a few more rounds left in there. But right now, ladies, they're trying to go for that aggressive B, but definitely not working out for them. Avenue Esports having a tough time. Bomb will be a planet here. Can they go ahead and do it? Absolutely. Here, Blue gets taken down. Louis and Adamello, the last two players are remaining. You can see, I believe, somebody's trying to go for that T side. Adamello with a bad timing. Unfortunate. Din sticks on Adamello. Louis is the last player remaining. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Wapanda at this point will be advancing towards the next match and it's a gg there well played by what panda ladies and gentlemen somebody called PETA. these pandas are out of control and that was the cringiest joke you'll ever hear today not proud of that one but ladies and gentlemen no. seven to thirteen <laughs> seven to thirteen mm -hmm. and uh what panda would be advancing any thoughts on this match Kyle? It was a great game. Like you saw the team work on both sides. You saw Avenue trying to go for something different than what we normally see, trying to play the economy game a little bit more. Obviously it didn't work here as they just couldn't hit the shots when they did have the economy. But with Panda well play from them, the defense was solid and then they just had to grind out those allied rounds, which they managed to do. And now they get to face NGP in the semifinals. But of course, we won't be watching that game. We'll be watching Pure Drip versus Endpoint. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that.